Hi, this is Eitan from Handheld Sound, and welcome to MAD. MAD is our new drum kit series. With this first installment, we wanted to get a versatile and forward-sounding kit that's going to bring back the fun and simplicity when working with sampled drums, but at the same time, pack some powerful features. The biggest reason we decided to start a drum kit series, other than that drums and percussion are kind of our forte, was to achieve an authentic dynamic range without extending it artificially by modulating volume with velocity, which really just weakens the signal at the end. The goal was to get raw and aggressive tones, so the recording process was pretty strict so we could really get stick-breaking power. Matte is very easy to use. It has three main windows, Easy, Mix, and Groove. The Easy page here is your front end that has access to several global controls. The kit we used is a Remo 5-piece rock kit. It's a standard kit, but smaller in size, which gives it a very tight and forward sound that really fit the premise. It features all the typical kit elements. Kick. Snare. The snare has lots of articulations, different drum zones, and separate left and right hand hits. Next is the hi-hat. The hat also has quite a few articulations, but also a pretty extensive modulation engine. We'll get to that a little bit later in the video. Next are the toms. Just like the snare, the toms also have lots of articulations, drum zones, and separate left and right hits. And finally, crash cymbals and rides. Obviously, you can control all of these channels in the mixer. We'll explore that in another video. All right, something unusual we did was that we mic'd the kit and recorded it along with a live PA in the studio. The PA was semi-isolated, but still, it gave a unique push to the sound, feeding back to the mics, especially on the higher velocities. Let's take a listen. I'm going to play a chain of two-bar grooves coming from Mad's built-in groove engine. Here we go. Okay, now, the Easy page, just like I mentioned before, has global controls that shape the sound and behavior of the kit. And for the most part, you can go a lot deeper in the Mixer page. First, we have global level controls for the overheads and room channels. Pitch controls the global pitch for the kit. Hi-hat attack is a custom envelope that softens the attack of the hi-hat. It's most useful for fast-paced hi-hat action. Decay is a really cool feature. It tightens the kit sound, and it does it in a very musical way, even though it's just with one knob. Think of it just like a bus. Each element of the kit has individually shaped envelopes and the decay knob scales them globally. So when tightening the kit, the snare, for instance, will get a lot tighter than, say, the toms, keeping things musical. And the cymbals aren't tightened at all with this because that's just crazy talk. Velocity gives you a completely variable velocity sensitivity control, from convex through linear all the way to concave. This is not volume modulation. There's no attenuation of volume with velocity here. It's actually a logarithmic velocity compression and expansion. If you want to utilize the full dynamic range, keep it fully to the right. All right, bleed. It controls microphone bleed. 
This one can be tweaked a lot further in the mixer page with certain mic blending options and bleed control from multiple microphone perspectives. But in the easy page, it really functions like a global bus. Okay, let's get another taste of the madness here. I mentioned the dynamic range and raw sound characteristics. To get things right, it's really about the very low velocities and the top end. The middle is sort of always okay, but it was crucial for us to get the soft articulations to be very musical and defined, and the top end really loud and aggressive. Here's a short segment that features the toms primarily. Listen to the wide dynamic range, but also for the unique articulation and stick contact, which is really a result of the playing style, the sticks themselves, and also the PA. And just for kicks, I'll play it again and modify the global bleed here. Okay, other than knobs and physical controls, MAD has numerous special features that really improve realistic playback and ease of programming. And they all work in the background, gluing things up for you. Let's start with the hi-hat engine. The hi-hat engine in MAD has a variety of articulations and also smooth transitions from close to open with the mod wheel. Other than general monophonic behaviors between open and closed strokes, it also automatically blends foot stomp samples when moving from open to closed with the appropriate attack and dynamics. It's really useful when you're doing fast-paced open-close patterns. Check it out. And really, I'm playing all of this live from a keyboard. Just like with all our other products, we wanted to make playing the keyboard feel as close as possible to playing the real instrument. Another cool feature is the snare grace note legatos. Instead of bloating the mapping with a bunch of ghost and grace notes, you can trigger appropriate sounds by playing legato. Just hold down a snare key and play adjacent keys to trigger snare grace notes. It's really easy and simple to play it live and trigger it on the fly. Also, based on the legato interval you play, the snare will trigger the correct snare drum zone, say the edge, rim, or the center, so your ghost notes are always in context. The included grooves in MAD made a lot of use of this. Here's one quick example. Next up is cymbal chokes. Every cymbal articulation has a respective choke with multiple velocities and round robin, and you control all chokes just from one key. It automatically plays appropriate samples based on the cymbal type. And finally, the same hand guard feature. What it does really, it minimizes note duplication errors and impossible same hand unrealistic playback. First of all, it disallows simultaneous playback of different articulations triggering the same hand. So for instance, if you accidentally play two notes at the same time that can't go together, Mad will only play one of them. It really helps you with programming and live playing from the keyboard. So yeah. No more excuses about fat fingers, and nope, 
mad won't like it if you try to play a snare flam with two keys that are associated with right hand samples. Okay, this is it for the overview. Watch for our next videos about the mixer and groove pages. So in the meantime, be well and get mad.